I have the following view of democracy. I'm doing it here tonight. I've done more town halls and public meetings than any other leader by a factor of about two. I have duties in the House of Commons. I have duties in the House of Commons, and I take those seriously. And then I have duties to do this, which is to listen to Canadians and answer their questions. I'm the only guy out there doing that night after night. 50, 60 of these town halls. 100,000 kilometers on the Liberal Express this summer. My sense of I have a double obligation. I have an obligation to be a party leader in the House of Commons. And just think about this, you see, who led the fight in the House of Commons to save the gun registry? The Liberal Party of Canada. Who led the fight? Who led the fight to find out how much those jets cost? The Liberal Party of Canada. Who led the fight in the House of Commons to find out what those jails were going to cost? The Liberal Party of Canada. And who was it? Who was it? Who led the fight to make sure that Mr. Harper was held accountable for contempt of Parliament? Again, it was the Liberal Party of Canada. I'm, I am proud of the leadership that we have provided in the House of Commons. I got an amazing team. I try to show up for the vote. I try to be there. When I'm not there, Ralph Goodale is there, the deputy leader to lead. I take all of those responsibilities seriously. But I have to be in the bubble in Ottawa, and I also must be in this kind of room. That's as much part of my job as being an uh, I